Hey, it's Robbie here and this is Frecky Fit Wolf. It's time for a bonus video. This time it is a collab that I am actually hosting with a bunch of amazing YouTubers. So if you haven't already noticed in the description box, there are a link to a bunch of other videos. Check them all out. I watch all of them on a regular basis and they're all amazing. And they were all nice enough to agree to join my collab, Falling Into Fall. In this collab, everybody that is involved is part of a weight loss journey or a health journey, wellness journey, or they've already reached their goal and they're maintaining. There's a bunch of different people going different routes, different diet plans, different lifestyle plans, activity levels, things like that. So all of them will be doing different things. Some will be like me, cooking. Some will be doing some activities. Some might even be talking about their fall decorations. I'm not really sure. It's just a generic falling into fall title and whatever they wanted to do with it, I would be happy with. So mine, I am actually gonna be cooking. I'm gonna be making apple cider in an instant pot, and I'll be making pumpkin bars. Both things that pop into my head right when I think about fall. So let's get into it. All right, so let's just get right into it. First of all, ingredients. For the apple cider, you will need one in Instant Pot. You can also do it in a slow cooker. I don't know the times though, so I'm doing Instant Pot. So for it, you will need cinnamon sticks. I've already took out the amount that I need and set them aside, but you need those guys. And you'll need allspice. I am using ground, but you can definitely use the whole allspice if you can find it. That's what I prefer, but I could not find any of it. And the, you will need, of course, apples. I'm using gala apples because I do like mine a little bit sweeter. And the last thing I'm using in mind is an orange. There are a million different ways to make apple cider. If you want to add a bunch of other stuff, you totally can. I like mine pretty simple, pretty easy. So that's the route I'm going. And then over here, this will be all of the ingredients for the pumpkin bars. I'm just going to show them now and then I'll measure everything out. You will need a sugar substitute which I'm using stevia. I've heard a lot about monk fruit sweetener, but I could not find any yesterday. So I am going this route. You will also need unsweetened applesauce, all-purpose flour, baking soda, baking powder, ground cloves, ground cinnamon, pumpkin, and cream cheese. All right, so to save some screen time, I went ahead and chopped up and put everything in there. In here are the 12 apples that we needed, the one orange, the six cinnamon sticks, and the tablespoon of allspice. And literally all you gotta do is just put it in here and just kind of stir everything around so that it all gets submerged. I have a smaller uh, instant pot, so it takes up uh, uh, most of the room. So yeah, you just, Stir all that around, and then you're just gonna put it on for 10 minutes. It's got to pressurize, and then do the 10 minutes, and then you're going to want to let it natural release for 15 minutes. And yeah, that is that. So let's move on over to the pumpkin bars. All right, so I did forget to say that when you're cutting up the apples, you just cut them into fours, and you do not have to worry about the, getting the seeds out or any of that stuff, because you're gonna be sifting it later. So just cut everything up and throw it in the pot. And one other thing I forgot, that for the pumpkin bars, you're going to need a little bit of salt and eggs. So I'm gonna put them in. So in a big bowl, let me just angle this down. So in a big mixing bowl, you want to add your two cups of uh, flour and then mix in there. And I went ahead and put them all in one little container. But in here I have one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. So put that in there. And then you also want to add three fourths of a cup of your uh, sugar substitute. And make things easier while it's all dry you just wanna go ahead and mix it all together. So, got that all mixed up. Now you can start adding in your wet ingredients. So in here is the unsweetened applesauce. It's one cup. Let's pour on in. Tap, 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 tap. All right, and 
and then you want to add four eighths. One, I will use it there. Two, three, and then four. And the last wet ingredient you need is the pumpkin, which I forgot to open already. So let me set this aside and open that real quick. All right, so then you just wanna put in the pumpkin. That I'll need this guy for. I love pumpkin. And I believe I said it in another video. I am, when I say I am like very basic and love my pumpkin stuff, I love anything that is pumpkin versus pumpkin spice. There is a difference, obviously, and I am more of a pumpkin person than a pumpkin spice person. All right, and then you're just going to mix all of these guys together. All right, once you get it all mixed, you simply just pour it into a pan. You want to keep mixing until it is no longer lumpy. Um, I do not have a stand mixer, and I just tend to prefer to do it by hand. You can use an electric hand mixer if you choose to, but I just chose not to, so yeah. The recipe did call to put this in a 10 by 15 or an 18 by 13 cookie pan, which I didn't realize until after I was already going that I have neither. So I am using a 9 by 13 dish. So that might make the proportions that I planned out a little bit more tricky because I did plan to make 36 and I don't know how well I can easily make 36 in this pan. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, which is kind of great because you can always adapt things if you choose to. All right, so you put that in and then you set it aside. And grab another bowl. And for this one, this is going to be the cream cheese topping. So in here, you need to get your cream cheese. Oh, I also, I plan much better than this usually, but you also need almond milk or skim milk or one of those things. I'm gonna be using almond milk, but you just need two teaspoons of it or two, uh, two tablespoons of it, my bad. Okay, so I grab my almond milk. Mine is from Walmart and it's the 30 calorie unsweetened almond milk. So you have your doohickey in there. I did pop mine in the microwave for like 15 seconds just to soften it up, the cream cheese, because mine was not quite at room temperature yet. All right, so you add in the almond milk and then we're gonna add one egg to that. And we need one third cup of our sugar substitute, which I did not measure at first, so bear with me. All right, so one third cup of that. And this you're just gonna whisk together. So this I'll be right back. Also, real quick, look how cute my whisk is. It's all rainbowy. In case you can't tell, I like bright colors. All right, so there it is all mixed up. And what you're gonna do is take this back. And actually, let me grab one more thing. All right, so you've got this back. Let me angle this down a little bit more. Whoa, there we go, okay. And then you're gonna just take this and pour it right down the middle of it. And 
and just very gently swoosh it back and forth. You want to do that gently because you do not want to pick up any of the pumpkin and bring it in there. All right, and so then this is going, all right, so that's gonna go into the oven. It's been preheating for 350. I forgot to say that also. I am very forgetful today, guys. I don't know what my deal is, but I'll have the recipes below with the actual details. But anyway, it's gonna go in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes, which is kind of perfect because if we look, our Instant Pot is still pressurizing. You know it's still pressurizing because it does not say the time on there yet. Once it says the time, that's when it's pressurized and it'll start going counting down. So we got plenty of time. This is gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes. All right, this is actually perfect timing because Alexa just told me that my timer was going off and this has now been naturally uh, releasing for eight minutes. So that is perfect. And I always have to show off my handy dandy infinity gauntlet oven mitt sorry the steam got right in my face all right so now we take this out y'all look at that look at that yumminess i'm gonna let this cool off and i'm going to finish i'm going to do the quick release over here so ignore all that over there i my outlet is right above the sink so, all the dishes are there. Normally, I wash them while things are cooking, but I did not I did not want to risk because that cord, look at that, that cord is going right through that mess. It's a fire safety issue. All right, so quick release. Always take a step back while it does that. And it has been going for like nine minutes, which is fine enough. And while that's going, the next thing you are going to need is a masher. I just have one like these. Whatever kind of potato masher you like to use, feel free to use it. I will say, now that that is doing that, oh my gosh. It smells so good. Between this yumminess, that yumminess, my apartment smells so good. Seriously. Okay, so I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so I just realized I wasn't recording, but um, it took about two minutes for that to fully depressurize and so that I could take the lid off. Having this much in here, it's going to take a while. And what um, I'm going to go through with the masher and just mash everything that I can in here. You want to mash for like a good five minutes or so. I am going to do that and I will be back after that is done. So I've been matching for a good quite a while and basically you wanna get it so that when you're pulling things up, there's not much big chunks anymore. All the apples are as smashed as they're gonna get. When you pull it up, it's mainly just, you know, like that. Not very cute, but this is what is putting the flavor in everything. The next part, I wish I could think of a way to do on camera but I need all the hands and space I can get, and I do not have a tall enough space for doing it. But you're gonna wanna drain all of this and get the pulpy stuff out. So you wanna use as small of a strainer as you can get, the smallest calendar you can get, so that you can get just the juice. And um, yeah, if you wanna use like a cheesecloth, totally go that route. After you get like, you can scoop it and get like the bulky stuff out of there and go that route if you choose to. All right, so I'll be back after it is all in liquid form. All right, there we go. There is all of our now apple cider. What I did was I took the strainer and was doing it with the bowl and then poured the whatever extra liquid back in here. And then I just kept going back and forth between the bowl and here with the strainer until now it is all just liquid and no chunky stuff. 
All right, it's all done. Excuse the mess behind me. Uh, my roommate's in the middle of pa painting some stuff in his room and hence ladder. But this is what the cakes look like after they're done. The pumpkin bars. Um, I did not, like I said earlier in the video, I only had a 9x13 pan. So it says that it makes 36 bars, but instead, because of me using it that way, it made 27 bars. And so the points are going to be a little bit different from mine. I'll put the points in the description for the points and the calories and all of that for the way the recipe goes. If you have the proper pan in the description box, but for me, it's 2.6 points or bites for one of these. I'm going to have two because I'm hungry. And then here is the apple cider. It's actually in a really, really cute cup. Um, a coworker got these for us for Christmas last year. It has the blow dryer and scissors and brush and the FS logo because I do work for Fantastic Sam's. All right, so let's taste it because I have not, t I need a fork, one sec. Okay, so I have my fork now. Let's taste it because I have not had this before. Cheers. I like it. I, I enjoy it. I will say, next time I make this, not making it with stevia. At least not this kind. It has a bit of that aftertaste that I was kind of worried about. That's why I wanted to try the monk fruit. But not enough to be completely grossed. Yeah. No, I still enjoy this. This is still really good. Yep. Mm -hmm. So as I just said, I don't have all the points and everything written down. Normally I would put them on the screen and I still might put them right here. Actually, yeah, I'll put them right here. What the points and calories and all of that are. I don't, I don't have that done yet. So I don't know what that's going to say. You'll see it right there. I'll put it in the description and all of that. And oh, I haven't had a drink of this yet. It's still really warm, so we'll see. Now that is apple cider. That is really, really good. I will enjoy this more when it actually feels like fall, despite it being the first day of fall. It does not feel like it. It's still like 90 something outside. So I'm enjoying it. I'll probably enjoy it more once it's a little bit cooler and, and enjoy making it again once it's cooler outside. But yeah, so that is that. I want to thank everybody. Yeah, even with the stevia, really, really good. Maybe, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You... <clears throat> If you make this, use a little less egg in the topping. That's what's throwing me off. I'm going to try just a little bit of the topping. That's where the weird flavor is. A little less egg in the topping. So I used one egg. So like somehow get one egg out of there. But other than that, this tastes really good. And I'm going to be uh, enjoying it. After I finish talking, I will finish. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and please comment. Please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I have additional vi videos like this bonus video this week. And please, everybody below, check out all of those channels. There was a lot in this collab. And so I know there's a lot of videos, but please take the time to go through that list and check them out. We have some bigger channels. We have some newbies, like my size or smaller even. All of them are great. A lot of them, I, well, actually every single person that's in there, I watch whenever they post a video. Even if I miss a live video, like I constantly do with the WW Gays, make sure that you, I, I make sure that I watch it later. So please check them all out. They are all fantastic. A lot of them are friends. A lot of people that I, a lot of, lot of them are people that I have not really interacted with before, but I enjoy their videos. So please, please check them out. 
give them a sub, give them a like, enjoy their stuff, and go along with them on their journeys. I'm enjoying it. It's helping keep me focused. Just like people say that my journey helps others. That makes me feel great. That makes them feel great, I am sure. And I want to give a big thank you to everybody for participating in this collab. Really meant a lot to me that a lot of you responded because honestly, looking at the numbers on your channel, I was like, oh, they don't even know who I am. I'm going to send this invite and they actually responded. So thank you guys. I really, 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 truly appreciate it. And so until tomorrow, I'll talk to you guys later.